I started when I was in high school. Well, I had my own orchestra. And then people called me because they were aware of what I could do musically because I was an arranger and a conductor. You know, and a lot of people need that with their orchestra. It started, I guess, over 50 years ago. There's a gentleman that I told you about. His name is Sebastian Jocko, who has been with the orchestra for 55 years. And he's wonderful. He's really good. And he's 93 years old. I've been with this orchestra for 54 years now. Back in my, when I was in my 40s, uh, I started taking flute lessons. I took 20 years of classical flute lessons at Wesleyan University, and I'm still practicing flute every single day. Never miss. If I miss, I feel like something is lacking in my life. So I really need that. One of the really wonderful musicians in this world. Really, really superb. We're very lucky to have a piano player like Don Turner. He had a fantastic life. He spent 40 years in Hollywood. So I've done a great deal of international travel and working with orchestras internationally. But that's about me. I want you to talk about this man. <laughs> the reason this orchestra exists is because of a man by the name of Charles Chick Cicchetti. He wrote an enormous amount of music. He was a great arranger, way ahead of his time. He died, unfortunately, 20 years ago. And just before he died, he called me and asked if I would take over the orchestra. So that's why I'm here. I've been here over 19 years. Oh my God, sorry. Ding, 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 okay. Four beats, ding, 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 two, ding, ding, three, ding, 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 and... We're still playing most of the music written by Chick Chichetti, which he did from the probably 1980s until he died in 2000. I believe he was a trombone player, uh, Charles Chick Chichetti, I believe, and they're just absolutely fabulous arrangements. So these fabulous arrangements from Chick Chiquetti are still alive and still being played. We could go through name by name and name every single individual in the band and talk about how great they are. But it's just a fabulous band and uh, it's a wonderful place to hear the music. This orchestra is known all over the world because he has so many friends all over the world. Don Trenner, you know, this is not just in the United States. It's all over the world that uh, it's being spread out. Of course, the famous Bobby Roger that used to be here. She passed away uh, in 2013. Tremendous talent. Unfortunately, you know, she got to the point where she couldn't remember the words anymore. She started to lose her, her memory. And uh, she passed away. And um, Don Trenner brought in Nicole Pasternak, Diane Maurer.
I was always jealous of Bobby when she had this gig and nobody else could have it. She was wonderful with it and I always wanted to sing with this band. I got to sit in once in the fall last year, but um, in January of this year, uh, Sebi gave me a call on Wednesday and he said, you want to sing with the band on Monday? And I was like, sure. <laughs> And then uh, he said, I'll send you a list of tunes. But I never knew I would only have two days to prepare. And a lot of times there were songs I had never even heard. Never mind, knew the arrangement on. So I said, why don't we make this the third Monday of every month? Then I can plan and actually learn things without putting the entire weekend toward this. And so that's what I do now. I do the third Monday of every month. There are no charts. There are no parts for the singer because Chick taught him to Bobby at home. He never wrote a vocal part. So I don't know what the band is going to do next. If I have to shut up, if I have to sing. But Sebi wrote out clip notes for me. And we also have Diane Maurer that sings here. Is it once a month? Yes, there's at least once a month there's a guest vocalist that will do a half a dozen songs for the band. And she's a particular favorite. Diane yes. Maurer is just a, a absolutely fabulous talent. And But the fact that uh, he wrote the arrangement for Bobby Rogers and now that Diane Maurer has to come in and they're not done on her key, I think. How does it go? The arrangements were specifically written for Bobby Rogers. So they didn't change the arrangement, change the key. So right. they just said, okay, hey, here's the tune, here's the arrangement, here's the key. Uh, but Diane Maurer is so good, she can just pick that information up and come in here just with the the arrangement and the roadmap is kind of sketched out and she'll come in unrehearsed and just nail it every time. And that's how I, I do Chick's charts. I get cliff notes from Sebi and, and I cross my fingers and the guys are always there to back me up if I mess something up, but they just really welcome me with open arms and, and it's been great. They are so good, they really don't need a singer. But I, I keep trying to make them think they do <laughs> because I want to sing with them forever. The unique thing about this orchestra is that no other orchestra has these arrangements. So what we play belongs exclusively to us. The gentlemen that play in this orchestra are very experienced because this is not easy music. It requires professional care. It's their personal responsibility to supply an adequate substitute. That's important, that word. Because they just, like a trumpet player, just can't call a trumpet player. He's got to call one that sight reads well and has experience. They know them from their own careers. The orchestra is quite wonderful. We're here because of the music. Actually, we don't get paid. There's not a lot of money for a big band, you know? There's a lot of people to be paid. And it's hard to get that kind of a budget going. On. I would love it uh, if we could find, you know, some paid gigs, because these guys come here every week for nothing. And, and you know, I know why I do it, because a singer doesn't get a chance to work with the band like this very often. But, you know, to come here every week for over 20 years, and not get paid. That tells you how much they respected Chick Chick Hetty and how much they loved playing his music. I would like them to get more attention. They deserve more attention. Although you can see they've got a nice house. And every time I've been here, they have a nice house. But it would be nice if they would get 
on the news and, you know, some coverage because they have dedicated so much to being here and doing this work. The audience is wonderful. They're just so supportive and they listen. It's not a noisy audience, as you've noticed. They actually listen. In the Connecticut Magazine, they had done a write-up on Don Trenner, the band leader, and talked about his background, and we were uh, intrigued by that, so we wanted to come and see it, and they've come ever since, a year and a half. I have been coming here since 2007, and I recruited my boyfriend, and he doesn't want to stop coming now. He just loves it. And my first trip here was in December, so a little bit less than a year. And we've been here just about every Monday. That's just the, the talent level in the band and the incredible arrangements. And it's just a good time. I mean, it's it's probably the best kept secret in Hartford. I mean, you come down Arch Street, you park for free in the garage, you come over here, there's no cover charge. Uh, to hear a, a big band of this quality in a big city, you'd be looking at probably a hundred bucks a ticket or something and fifty dollars to park and you'd only get one set and then you'd have to leave to let the second set come in. So I mean it's the best kept secret around and the talent level is probably equal to the big bands in your big cities. Um, if you get the satellite radio sometimes on the jazz channel you can hear uh, the big bands from well, there's a great one in Pittsburgh, St. Louis, Seattle, San Francisco and it doesn't seem that the any better than this one here. But we've found it's a great way to start a week. It's lively, feel good music. And that's why we keep coming. And a lot of the people here, you know, we all know each other. It's interesting, uh, uh, the people in the booth at the back of the uh, bar tonight is a couple. We brought them here a couple months ago and they loved it. Now they've brought another couple. And that's what happens. People get out and talk about it because most people aren't aware that Hartford has a 16-piece jazz orchestra. Not a band, it's an orchestra that they play every Monday night year-round, except for a, a, a little break in the summer. That's kind of a best-kept secret. So there's a real community. I guess that's what's really neat about it. So it's, it's just a feel-good thing for free. No, no cover charge, parking is free. You know, probably one of the best deals in town. I think the, the audience has grown tremendously. It's because people like me will, word by mouth, we let them know that, you know, you should come to the Art Street to hear first class jazz. And once I get them in here, they don't want to, you know, leave. They want to come back every Monday. And uh, it's, a, it's a best kept secret. And so it's really word by mouth. We have to, you know, spread the news that we have such a wonderful orchestra here. And uh, they're all first class jazz pianists. And, Don Trenner is, that is, and, and the rest of the orchestra. This orchestra is known all over the world because he has so many friends all over the world, Don Trenner, that he uh, has people come in from different places of the world and they come and listen here. It's all over the world that uh, it's being spread out. It makes it very unusual to have an orchestra that is known throughout the world. It's right in our backyard. We're, we're not the first people that have used the phrase that's kept secret. Something new and something interesting practically every week. We really enjoy it and I hope more people will come because we don't want this to ever stop. A wonderful way to start the week and the, the book of songs is so large that it'll take two or three months before they cycle back and play the same, the same charts. And you're not going to come hear the same thing every night. It'll, like I said, it'll take a good three months before you, you know, hear them repeat, cycle back to the beginning of the book again. The difference is they kind of rotate through, but they, they're, obviously, they're really here playing for each other. That's why they're here. You know, you get different people that move in and out of the group. Like tonight, Sebi, Sebastian Jocko, who's one of the uh, saxophonists, he's not here tonight because he did a gig this afternoon. Well, he's 94 years old. So you can understand he can only do one per day. So there's somebody filling in for him tonight and they, they kind of fill in for each other, but they always have 16 people. It's a full orchestra. So many happy memories. I really, I really love what I do. It's a very deep passion and a, a serious care about what I do. 
So the enjoyment is when I come to work as it is and the orchestra plays well, that's very fulfilling. I don't particularly care about doing solos so much. I just be a part of the aggregate orchestra. Uh, I have an important chair when I play the first book, the saxophone section. It's been a heck of a run here, longer than uh, most places that have any type of jazz music. I'm thinking Sebi and Don are going to live forever, because they pretty much proved it.